Mike Levin on Friday, August 5th at about five o'clock, 2016. And I thought I'd do the last video to make SEO Notebook useful to everybody who's following these videos and is into SEO, social media, or anything else where you have to do a bunch of lookups against things like URL. So at its very most basic, it's simply something where you set your Google spreadsheet name, your tab name, and uh, you use functions that are actually named in this uh, pipulate file like title. So here's a bunch of URLs with a title column and you just uh, run all. And you go over here and you'll just magically see title tags filled in. Now that happens so quick because all those URLs have been cached in this database that I talked about in a prior video. But this video will be about this file that I don't include in the repo that includes the Google client ID and client secret for OAuth login. And the truth is every mobile app has that embedded into it anyway. So I think I'm just gonna be including it uh, in the repo so you can uh, clone this and use it uh, without any of this rigmarole. But I thought I'd document it anyway because uh, everyone making an app like this sort of has to go through it. And this is the site we're going to be using. It's console.developers.google.com. But you can always basically find it by just Googling uh, developer console. And it's usually uh, the first. It appears it's the second result now, but still always near the top of the list. And here I am logged in as Pipulate, so I'll be creating a credential for a new project. And this is where you see your projects listed. And we're going to create a new project. Create project. I will call it SEO Notebook. Create. And it's still doing it, oh, that's notifications. Hmm, maybe a refresh. Let's check the notifications. Okay, so we're on our all projects. So you can get to your all projects here and this is how you switch between them. Now another thing going on here is your active APIs and uh, let's see, they changed the interface again recently. I actually produced this video before and uh, everything looks different. So um, if you do this for yourself, you're going to have to activate the, let's see if this is, oh, API manager, I can show you. You're going to have to activate, and it should show our list of activated URLs, but we need um, Google Spreadsheets. Maybe it's just Sheets. Google Sheets API. Now there used to be these little on and off things but I guess you gotta enable them one at a time. So there's Google Sheets enabled. Now it says I'm under the Pipulate project. Really, I wanna do this while I'm under um, the new SEO Notebook project, just to be sure. View more projects, SEO Notebook. And there we go. I have to enable it per project. That makes sense. So make sure you're on the right project. You can see your project there on the drop down menu. So I have uh, Google Spreadsheets enabled, and you can't use it until you create credentials, which is what this video really is about. Let's add another um, API because we also need. Uh, Let's see, Google Spreadsheets. 
I'm going to add Gmail. And while we don't particularly need it for this project, it is always inevitable that we'll need the Analytics API and Webmaster Tools because this is all about SEO after all. So our SEO Notebook project has the four Google APIs that I use commonly um, enabled. Now we go to credentials. Now this is the tricky and confusing part because there's so many choices about credentials. And uh, let's see, we'll help you set it up. Which API are you using? Well, we're using all of them, but Sheets is really the one um, that we'll choose here. Is it for a browser app, a server app, Android, iOS, Chrome application, PlayStation, other, like a CLI tool? And it is running most like a CLI tool. I think I'll choose that. What credentials do I need? Create an API key. Nope, I think I chose it wrong. It's not an API key that I need. Create credentials. OAuth client ID is what you want. So you configure your consent screen. SEO notebook, homepage URL is optional, I'm going to leave that out. Product logo is optional, I'm going to leave that out. How the logo will look to end users, in terms of service, pretty much everything is optional except for the uh, product name that you're going to show to the users. So I save that. Consent screen saved. Now what? Ah, web application, blah, blah. Okay, we have to choose that again. Other. Name, other client one. We'll call it SEO Notebook again. No, we'll call it Jupyter Notebook. Because it is Jupyter Notebook that's actually uh, the hosting environment. And here we go. That's our client ID and our client secret. And I can always reset these so I'm not really spilling the beans, but this file here, I'll quit out of it so that you can see, I'm actually in the directory uh, of uh, this repository and there's a file there called my auth that I have currently blanked. And I'll go there and I'll go to uh, insert mode in Vim. I need my client ID. Copy. Paste. Again. Now I'll get, grab my client secret, copy, paste, and now I'll do what I have been remiss to do in the past, which is git add my auth. Git status. doesn't see the new added file. What was that message it gave me? Clear, git status, modified, yeah. Git add my auth. Oh, because I have it in git ignore, yeah. All right, vim.git ignore. Get rid of the uh, iauth entry in there, or the my auth entry. Now we can add it, git status. Okay, new file, my auth in there. So you guys are gonna be able to run this. You won't have to do this yourself, but one thing we're gonna to do to remind everybody about the authentication process is we are gonna remove the OAuth dot 
dat file, which will provide, uh, which will contain um, private stuff in there. But that gets created when you run your um, your project. So we'll go over here. Okay, so that's in there. Everything's good. We've got some credentials. This has to exist <clears throat> in the developer console for this step to work. Go to SEO notebook, restart and clear output, and I'll go one step at a time now. And nah, I, <clears throat> the temptation is to go one step at a time because I know it's gonna roadblock me here, but I'll just uh, run all and I'll let you see the roadblock. So you get this challenge here. Got to click that. This should look somewhat familiar to people. Now you actually choose the one that has the ownership of the Google documents you're going to be um, pipulating, the Google spreadsheet you'll be pipulating. So typically, if you created your credentials under the same account that you're going to be uh, that's under the same account that's going to own these documents, it, you'll always be selecting the same thing. But I am using all these different accounts, so I'm going to authorize as me. It's asking for these rights. These are the ones that we added. Allow. And then you pick this up, and it works this way because stuff is going to be cached in the background. In fact, before and after. Uh, there's no um, oauth.dat file. I hit enter. Authentication successful. It's going to continue running, but there's your oauth.dat file now created. And that's what gives Pipulate uh, access to your spreadsheets. Now, if I were to go over here, blank this again and run this with a new authentication context I have. It should all happen seamlessly without any of the authentication challenges. And now when I commit and push this, uh, you too will be able to do this without actually going through that step, which is pretty much the point of this video. And there you have it. So that's the creation of the uh, myauth.py file that simply has uh, a couple of files in there that you have to fill in yourself. But you don't have to because I'm putting it in the repo. So now everyone who wants to use SEO Notebook, come and get it in GitHub. My videos will be completely reproducible uh, from your end and you'll still and you will be able to do these same exact sort of tasks as I'm doing and it's about to get really really interesting beyond the title tag anyway thanks for joining me hope to see you again soon don't forget to clone SEO notebook and don't forget to subscribe